Our entire dress stuff for you guys. This is a special occasion. Me, I'm the special occasion. This is a brand new filming location. We haven't seen this place before. Filming in my house instead of my studio because I... Do you see these shelves? Stunning works of art. Yeah, I put them up. I decided to film in this room today because I put up these very gorgeous shelves all by myself and it made me feel, you know, real put a hammer and a power tool in a girl's hand and she completely changes her outlook on life. So I decided because I did that, it would be fitting to film here because of the video that I'm about to film right now. Because, hear me out ladies, I put up a really nice, really cool floating shelf set from Ikea. Do not need to get a man for that, no. You just need to feel like a man. All you need is men's hair products. God, I am regretting this video. I am regretting this video. I'm Stella. I do a lot of weird things to my hair and normally I feel like I'm a reputable source um, for what products to use on your hair, what techniques to use, what do we, what should we implement in our daily routines and daily lives. And so this video is a complete and absolute <clears throat> molishment of everything that I've built up because today I'm going... <laughs> Using nothing but men's products, men's hair care products on myself today. Men's hair products are so compressed into one product that you really don't have a lot of choice for different individual products. Three in ones, your four in ones, your five in ones. Body wash, shampoo, cleanser, shaving cream, shave balm, body balm, butter, conditioner all in one product. The rest of us, we need seven products just to do one thing. Want shiny, healthy hair? Well, you need this shampoo and then get a clarifying one while you're at it. Then you do your conditioner, your treatment mask, your leave-in, your other leave-in for your leave-in, then you do your serum, your oil treatment, and hell, why the hell just put on a shine spray? And I picked up a bunch of, of different men's hair and other men's products because I want to try them out. I want to see what they're all about. Okay. Okay. First product that I'm going to be using. <laughs> Body, face and hair deep clean shower gel, which has microfine clay also inside it. They put a black packaging on it and it was, I'll tell you what, you don't really have different individual products, but the scent or the color change the, the variety that you have is insane sport mode or did i want to go men's sensitive this is the it's a it's a it's a multi-use shampoo and i'm not bad li listen to me i'm not bashing men's product i'm not saying it's a good product i am saying it sounds efficient so anyways i'm gonna be uh, shampooing my hair with this one this thing i'm regretting this whole heart smells like a man Ooh, what a pretty color! It's a pretty color. It looks more like a shampoo than it does a body wash cleanser. I like it. Okay. <clears throat> Tastes like man. Doesn't lather much. I'm assuming that's the um, body wash facial cleanser feature. And the, the lather, the foam of it is like way thinner, if that makes any sense. It's like finer foam. It needs to be latherier. Bit more lather at the second wash. Still feels super like thin foam. Like by now, shampoo bubbles, bubbles, boobles would be like this high. And, and we're not getting that. We're, you know, we're getting shower gel foam. All right, uh, let's go rinse this off. I did not enjoy that. My hair still feels so rubbery, but like, you know, like the shampoo stripped everything from it. And now's the time that it gets recoated and conditioned back to health and have all of the cuticles closed. However, I looked everywhere, right? I looked 
everywhere. I even went through the regular hair section. Maybe there was a specific product for men, but no. Conditioner does not exist for men. And because I wanted to keep this, uh, this video, you know, true to itself, I wanted a product with, which specifically had the word men on it. Or anything, men just don't use conditioner. So, I cannot use conditioner after this. I just have to be content with my body hair and face wash. And just, and just, you know, live my life. <laughs> it's hurting my little heart. I got two of them because I'm like, how much, how much men's gel does a girl need? It says men on it. This is the Nivea Craft Stylers Shiny Effect Gel. I was like, let's go for like a wet look. This doesn't even say men on it, but it was in the men's section and it's blue. This is the Goldwell Ultra Volume Lagoon Jam. This, this just sounds funny. Look, it says jam. This could be tampered with so easily. I just got it from the store and it's just gel. Okay. I want to just go for a wet look, I guess. Before that, I found this one. This is very on theme with today's video because it's green. The closest thing I could find to a, a nourishing product when it comes to men. Beard oil. This is the only product that I found that could potentially nourish hair. And it's not even meant for hair. It's meant for a beard. I don't have a beard, but we're going to use it as an oil. Barbspurt. Bar Barbspurt. Barbspurt. I mean, it's the Barbexpert, but there's no E, so it's Barbspurt. 100% natural origins. J oil and organic sesame oil. Ooh, I cook with sesame oil. I never heard it used in, in hair products. Your beard will be nourished, soft, and smooth. I'm actually going to dry my hair really quickly and then... <laughs> And then see, and then see. I'd say it looks great, does it? But anyways, oh, it's so oily. Oh, 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 it just, it just dribbles on out. That is disgusting. But anyways, ooh, ooh, ooh. The good thing about this filming setup is that I can't see what I look like, which is probably for the best. So I look terrible. Um, the back of my head feels kind of okay with this oil, so I don't know which of the two gels I want to go with. Uh, let's start with this one. If I give myself a cool men's style, men always do it backwards, don't they? I'm so happy I can't see myself. I can't see what I look like. This. Sexy, aren't I the sex appeal for the male community on with this because it sounds funny it's a lagoon jam and it's blue obviously all men are represented by the color blue just like obviously all women are pink see by my overwhelming pinkness Ooh, okay let's take out the big heating this is not it this is not it oh my god the previous gel has completely set and I can't run my oh my god oh my god I can't run my hands through it so I can't shape it in any way so I'm trying to go for like a wet look let's give myself a side part let's try it so, okay guys we're getting there okay look this is the best look that I'm gonna get with these products. I have bad. It's not half bad. Very, you know, slick back, but it, it kind of works. I do have a few products left over here that I have not tried. This is a one that I'm terrified of using. Look how big it is. This is the Dove Men Care Charcoal Clay Purifying Micro Moisture Body and Face Wash. Inspired by nature, designed for men's skin. As far as I know, from fair enough, my limited knowledge, so do not, you know, quote me on this. My assumption is that men and women's skin are the same. Maybe this was referring to, let's say, the environment that men are, you know, they're in oily, gritty places and stuff like that. Except in that case, I'm pretty sure there are cleansers specifically formulated for stuff like that, like hardcore cleansers actually 
good for the skin and not something that Dove creates for body and face wash. But anyways, we're going to use this as a cleanser. Mm. And it's gray. It's like wood, but like wood you find in a church, kind of. Got like the benches in churches. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Ish job, but it's probably singular, you know, function is that of cleansing, but I doubt it will offer any sort of nourishment or, you know, skincare or anything like that. I'm gonna go rinse this off and see what we're left with. You know that term squeaky clean? It's kind of what my face is giving. Rubber. Final few products remaining, and this is another one by the Barb shirts. <laughs> this is a face mask for men. Oh, uh, it's meant to be only applied on the T-zone. Yay! It has a seal thing. Respect the singular product that had it. Mmm, so sticky. <laughs> so sticky. I thought I applied a lot on my hand, but this is actually really hard to, dim to distribute. Hey, my wet look hair is now actually, you know, useful because th there's no hair on my face. I do not like how this feels. Okay, let me rinse my hands and then introduce you to the very final product in our very extensive list of men's products. Vit Men. Because men need hairless titties as well. I've never um, used the cream hair remover ever in my life. And it's made worse because this is all in Polish. What is this? It's in English. It's in English. Okay. Uh, using the curved part of the spatula, spread the Vite cream evenly to fully coat the hair, leave the cream on your skin for three minutes, and then use the spatula to gently remove a small test area of cream. All right, this is Vite, but for men. It's Vite men, because obviously men also need to remove their body hair, and that wasn't said sarcastically. You, you probably should remove your body hair, because I, you know, smooth legs feel insane. If you're a man, you're watching this and you're like, why would I remove my body hair? I'm like, just try it. It feels fucking lush. Um, I won't lie, I don't have too much body hair left. Um, you may or may not have seen my many, many Kenzie ads. Don't worry, this isn't one. Um, but I did remove pretty much a lot of my body hair, so we're just going to kind of see what this does. Ooh, what do I do? Oh my god. Let's just, let's just. Ah, I see it now. Okay, let's do it on both kneecaps. There is in fact still hair on my kneecap. <sighs> Such a beautiful day, guys, isn't it? Very okay, well, I still have hair on my legs, so that product was a bust. I hope you enjoyed this video, as confusing and weird as it was. While a lot of the product did seem insanely convenient, I won't lie, it didn't seem to deliver on the um, quality side of things, so, you know, maybe just just stick to like normal product. Ow, oh, why did I put it on my eyebrow? If you enjoyed this video, as always, please give it a thumbs up, and if you enjoyed me, or my titties, um, please, you know, Subscribe to my channel. I make better content than this usually, but my curiosity got the best of me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll give it a go, and I will see you in my next video. Ow. Look at me with my sexy eyebrows. My skin doesn't look bad, I think. Alright.